What's up, you beautiful human beings? My name's Scotty from Transfer Express, and it's been a while since I've been here, so I hope that you've all been good. Today, we're gonna talk about packaging. Now, let's be honest. When we get packaging for a product that is not as fancy, you can tell the difference in the packaging. Nice packaging really sets a product apart. So, we're gonna talk about packaging in many different facets today, from wine glasses to food containers. So, let's dive right into it. Are you doing something for a Southwestern themed shirt? You can make a burrito. Don't eat this, it's a t-shirt. Let's show you guys how you can order these custom labels for your t-shirts. Here, we have our custom sticker that looks great. This is a five color, eight inch wide sticker that wraps perfectly around your t-shirt to make it a burrito. In this example, we've given you a box so you can label the shirt for its size or style depending on the garment that you're applying this to. To order these stickers, you will first need to navigate to the top right of the screen and change your print method to non-apparel. Under the non-apparel, you'll find an option for all-purpose stickers. Under outline here, we're going to choose the basic white outline, which just basically means that everything will be outlined in white as you can see on the burrito. Then just choose your image quantity and you're all set to place this order. We have our finished product. We have our t-shirt, which will be wrapped in this cute little burrito design. So next in our lineup, we have a food container. Now, you can repurpose food containers that uh, you've gotten from takeout, but just make sure you clean them. Otherwise, you can just go online and purchase these because these are available online. You can find them on Amazon. I found them myself because I was like, wow, where do you even get this type of thing? Amazon's the answer for everything. So, this example here is for a smoothie shop, right? And we took, again, our all-purpose sticker, and we slapped it on here, we rolled up the shirt, tucked it away real nice. Great idea, I'm just saying, maybe it's something to look into. Next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the multifaceted uses of gang sheets. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you know how important gang sheets are to work with. They are a great way to combine multiple images together to save you money. And so what we've done here is we put a heat printed image on this can cooler here. Uh, some of you guys may know them as koozies, but we call them can coolers. So, we have a screen printed image here from one of our goof proof gang sheets. We also have a screen printed image here from one of our goof proof gang sheets. And guess what's on the front? More stuff from the gang sheet! So, to design that gang sheet that we just showed you, we're gonna dive back in to the Easy View Online Design Center. So, come on and let's dive in. As you guys can see here, we were able to do a big cedar brewing company, a medium cedar brewing company, and a little baby cedar brewing company circle, right? And then we also have the two different uh, size labels here. We have the cedar brewing company that we put on the yoke of the shirt, and we have another one, and you guys can see how diverse this gang sheet is and how much we were able to make out of it. And that is how profitability works. More images per sheet, you only pay one price. It's only one price! Make sure you're gang sheeting. I will come after you. Who wants to go camping? If you're working with an outdoorsman, they sell a lot of camping equipment, right? And today we're going to make an outdoorsy camping shirt. As you can see here, we've made a nice little sleeping bag rolled up, tied with a shoelace. It's a cute way to make it more outdoorsy and make it match whatever this outdoorsman man is selling in the form of a sleeping bag. So before we apply this beautiful transfer onto this beautiful green garment, what we have to do is we have to take our gang sheet and cut it apart because you probably don't want all of this on the shirt in one spot. Typically, we'd use scissors, right? But no, this is Transfer Express, baby. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna karate chop. You ready? So guys, now we're gonna use our tag along heat press platen. As you can see here, it's kind of cut with the shape of the shirt in it. And we're gonna have this little spot here to apply on the inside of the shirt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shirt and thread it on. If you guys remember threadability from our previous 297,000 videos, threading means we're sliding it over that bottom platen, 
So that way you're only pressing through one layer of fabric. We're gonna take the back of the shirt and pull it up through so it's hanging out right here. As always, we're gonna preheat our garment here. Preheat for three to five seconds usually, just to get that moisture out, get those wrinkles out. We're gonna take our transfer and we're gonna set it up about three finger widths down from the collar. You can tell that's pretty well centered in there. And then this is a medium shirt. So I'm gonna grab my medium tag, plop it in over here. Looks like it's pretty centered to me. And we're gonna bring this bad boy down. We're pressing at 365 for five seconds. Goof Proof, as always, is a hot peel. And now you guys can see here, we've got the front done. We've got this inside neck label done all in one press. And that, my friends, is the beauty of the Tag Along Heat Press Platen. Now that this is all wrapped up, <laughs> we can head back over to the table and talk about wine glasses. And we're back. And on the next piece of our journey, we have the wine glass. Sophisticated, elegant, and a beautiful piece to tuck your shirt into. We got these from a local dollar store. Now, I don't know about your area, but here in Ohio, we have a Dollar General, it's uh, about every 25 feet or so. We got a lot of them, they keep popping up. It happens. So what we've done is we took the wine glass, put one of our all-purpose stickers on the front, as you guys can see here, and we took the shirt, rolled it up, and placed it inside of the wine glass. Now, Something like this is great for bachelorette parties, for a uh, local winery, maybe for even just a local restaurant has something that they wanna put their shirts inside of. This is very versatile, very cheap, very effective, and at the end of the day, your customer walks away with a beautiful wine glass and a beautiful shirt printed by yours truly. And the last stop on our journey of packaging today is the coveted mason jar. Mason jars are a hot trend. For this example specifically, we did Mason Creek Farmer's Market, but it doesn't have to be a farmer's market. It could be literally anything because these glasses are popping. This is using, again, one of our all-purpose stickers. Slap it right on the front and uh, you got your, your packaging. The mason jar, like I said, is incredibly popular right now. Get on the trend before it dies because nobody wants to miss a trend. Trends equal money. Cha-ching! Boom! So that's it, guys. That's all we've got for you today. There are so many different ways to package a t-shirt that you guys should never be wondering, man, what could I possibly do to up my game? You want them to open the package, open their shirt, however you've packaged it, and you want them to say, wow, I really appreciate the extra time that this person spent packaging my product. So don't forget, packaging is important. That's all I got for you though, okay? So remember, leave a like, share it if you need to, comment down below, ring the bell for notifications, and we'll be here every Wednesday, guys. I love your faces. Happy pressing. Whew.